Hello friends, this video on circles part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. So we have to prove that the parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. So if we write this, this is A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. And let's suppose this means that this P, Q, R, S are the points of the contact. So we have to prove that A, B, C, D is a rhombus, that is, all sides are equal. So we have to prove that A, B is equal to B, C is equal to C, D is equal to A. Since it is a parallelogram, we are given that A, D is equal to B, C and a B is equal to B C. Because these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal. We have to prove all sides are equal. So if you can prove any of the link, B C is equal to A D or something, our problem is solved. Since it is a circle and we have seen that uh, there is a point from where tangents are drawn, A B is a tangent, A S is a tangent, or there are tangents, we knew that the length are equal. The first thing that came to our mind is the length are equal. So let's let make this length equal. These are A A length. Let's suppose this is B and B length. This is C C length. And let's suppose this is D D. Correct. This is D. This is D. This is C length. C length. The length is B. This length is B. A and A. That is the first thing that comes to our mind. Correct. Now, AB is equal to AD is equal to BC is given. And AB is equal to DC also given. That is given. What is AD? AD is nothing but A plus B. AD is nothing but A plus B. And BC is nothing but what is the BC value? This one, B plus C. Sorry, AD is nothing but B, A plus D. AD is nothing but A plus D. And BC is nothing but B plus C. And the value of AB, A plus B. And this is D plus C. Correct. Now what we should do? What is the approach we should follow? We have to prove that this set is equal to this set. If you can prove that AD is equal to these two or B is equal to these two, a problem is solved. So if you observe, if you add these two, this becomes ABA plus B plus C plus D. Here also A plus B plus C plus D. Correct. So we can say that A plus B plus C plus D, this guy is nothing but if you add D, this becomes AD plus BC. And this is also equal to AB plus BC. If you see this, A plus B plus C plus D, all four, if you add these two, this becomes A plus B plus C D. This is AD plus BC and AB plus BC. So we have to prove that, what we have to prove, we have to prove, let's suppose BC is equal to something in this. Let's suppose, let me make this link. If you prove that BC is equal to AB, that means all sides are equal. Why? Because this link is always there, this link is there. If we just prove this are equal, all sides are equal. So what we can do is here, AD is equal to BC, we know. So we can say that BC plus BC is equal to, and DC is also equal to AB, we know equal to AB plus AB or we can say that 2 BC is equal to 2 AB or we can say that BC is equal to AB and thus we have connected this broken link now we can say that AD is equal to BC that is already there BC is equal to AB is there and AB is equal to DC is already there so we can say that all sides are equal very simple see in this case we saw that this set this set and this set very equal. We are supposed to connect the dot. To connect dot, we can prove that BC is equal to AB. Problem is solved. 
what we observed here was if you add these two this becomes a plus b plus c plus d and similar question also we have done in the past where a d plus b c was equal to b a b plus d c we were supposed to prove it here also we observed that if we add these two this becomes a plus b plus c plus d and here also if you add these two this becomes a plus b plus c plus d so i can equate i will get some equation i got this equation and then from this equation i prove that b c is equal to a b that means i found the broken link once i got this broken link i found that all the sides are equal correct we have to prove that the opposite sides of the quadrilateral circumscribing a circle subtends supplementary angle at the center of the circle that means if this is center of the circle so let's suppose in the center of the circle then these two sides d c o is the angle d o c this is my o plus angle this a o b is equal to 180 degrees sorry that is something we have to prove so to prove this what we can do is first let's draw the perpendicular because we know that tangents are perpendicular to the circle so these are the perpendiculars we have so we have to prove that doc is equal to aob so let's draw this line also so let's draw this uh, doc and aob so we have to prove that this angle and this angle sum is 180 degree correct so let's name this angle this angle is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 and this is 8 correct this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all the other angles now we know that these angles are equal angle 1 is equal to angle 8 why because you see this the d is the point from where you have two tangents this angle is equal to this angle see, this angle is also 90 degrees always 90 only correct so if you see this angle is equal to this angle 90 90 and these angles are equal x and x so if these angles are equal this becomes 90 minus x and this is 90 minus x so angle 1 is equal to 90 minus x and angle 8 is also equal to 90 minus 6. So we can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 8. Sorry, let like this. Angle 1 is equal to angle 8. Why? If you see, this is x, this is 90, this is 90 minus 6, 1, and this is also 90 minus 6. So both are equal. Similarly, we can say that angle 2 is equal to angle 3. These angles. Similarly, angle 3 is equal to angle 4 and angle 3 is equal to sorry, angle 2 is equal to 3, 4 is equal to 5, these two angles, and 6 is equal to 7. Four equations we have. Correct. So we have to prove that, so we have to prove that angle DOC that is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus AOB that is 6 plus angle 5 is equal to 1. This is what we have to prove. We know that sum of all the angles is 360 degree. Correct? Complete circle. All angle 1 to 2 angle 8 is 360 degree. So let me write this angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 plus angle 8 is equal to 360. Now we have to prove that 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 5 is equal to 180. 1, 2, 6 and 5 is equal to 180 we have to prove. What we can do that? We can substitute these values 3, 4, 7, 8 with 1, 2, 4, 5. We know that 3 is equal to 2 we know correct 4 is equal to 5 you know correct 7 is equal to 6 you know and 8 is equal to 1 we know so we can see that this is nothing but angle 1 plus angle 2 plus instead of angle 3 we will say angle 2 plus angle 4 is to 4 I will say angle 5 
plus angle 5 plus angle 6 plus instead of angle 7 you will see angle 6 plus angle 1 is equal to 360 or we can say that twice of angle 1 plus twice of angle 1 plus 2 times angle 1 you see plus angle 2 twice plus angle 5 twice times plus angle 6 twice times right this is equal to 360 or we can say that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 360 by 2 that is 180 and that is what we have to prove angle 1 plus 2 plus angle 5 plus 6 these two angles are supplementary and that's what we have to very simple just understand the question the the crooks here is that angle 1 is equal to angle 8 and 2 is equal to angle 3 4 is equal to 5 and 7 is equal to 6 if you know this then you can just use this formula all the angle sum is 360 degree and then we have to find that actually we were supposed to find 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 180 so we took that only and other values we replaced with 1 to 5 and 6 only and we got the answer thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again